you know, one of our, our first memories of each other, uh, we played flashlight tag throughout the church, you know, at night. I remember seeing her run back to base and not, not remembering her name exactly, but her older brother, Brandon, who I was better friends with at the time, I said, uh, I, I got you, Brandon's little sister. And uh, I turned around and I said, that's not my name. And I ran to base. I don't know if that was the start of our <laughs> romance, but uh, it was definitely one of our first memories of each other. You know, coming into to college, I was consumed by football. Um, you know, was, I'm a competitive person. You know, when it didn't come easy, uh, you know, I struggled with it. You know, throwing one bad pass at practice or having a mistake, you know, here or there, uh, you know, really consumed me. And you know, it was a lesson I, I, I continually learned from freshman year all the way up to senior year when I hurt my knee that I was not just a, a football player that happened to be a Christian. I was a Christian who happened to play football. Jesus really commanded us. It was his very last breaths before he left earth. He said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One of the best parts of that verse, one that really struck home for us, is that word go. It's not just, not just go, but it's as you are going. So uh, for me as a football player, uh, for her as a, as a wife, um, you know, whether you're a businessman, teacher, you know, construction, whatever you're doing, um, you know, as you are going, as you are doing those things, make disciples. That's not slapping them in the face with the Bible, but living our life as close as we can to chasing after Jesus. You know, coming out of college, I was un undrafted, signed Houston Texans, signed with the St. Louis Rams, signed back to the Houston Texans at the end of that year, and then traded back to the St. Louis Rams, moved with the St. Louis Rams to LA, and then signed with the Minnesota Vikings, and then this past season signed with the Denver Broncos. Moved four times in one year, right? Six times in seven. <laughs> Any place we've been, I've, I never want to leave that place without giving the best I've got, without getting to know as many women as I possibly can. I don't want to waste that year. I want to help point others to Jesus, no matter what I'm doing. And that is absolutely our goal as we are going. You know, one of those big things that we've um, you know, prayed about and talked a lot about is is having kids, having children. You know, a few years ago, decided that we were, you know, not going to not try anymore. You know, and then a few years passed by and, you know, nothing was nothing was really going, so we started to get a little more serious about it. And uh, over the course of a, a few, you know, bumps in the road, some, some different uh, procedures, some different things that we've had to go through, um, you know, we're still praying that God's, you know, plan has, has children for us. Having kids is not going to give me this ultimate happiness. Like, yes, it's going to be so joyful and amazing, and I cannot wait for, hopefully, the Lord to provide that in our lives. But I still feel like He's just teaching us so much to find the ultimate joy in Him and in Him alone, and just peace in Him. And I feel like the Lord has us in this time to be able to just have extra time to pour into other people. So many women do feel shame and do struggle with it so much and go through a lot more than what we've been through. And I just don't want to go through this time, like we were saying earlier, to be a waste. Like I want to be able to still help point somebody to Christ through the midst of it. Like I don't want to wait till I'm on the outside of it. I want in the midst of it, as we're going, to help another woman going through this. And I understand it stinks, but like God has purpose no matter where we're at in our life. There's not a doubt in our mind that God's plan is so much better than anything that we ever imagined. 